Released in 2016, Shin Godzilla is the 29th installment in Toho's Godzilla franchise and the 31st Godzilla film overall, counting Roland Emmerich's critically panned 1998 version and Gareth Edwards' infinitely better 2014 movie. Co-directed by Hideaki Anno and Shinji Higuchi, Shin Godzilla serves as the third reboot of Toho's franchise and featured what some fans and critics have hailed as the most terrifying version of Godzilla yet. Part of what makes Anno and Higuchi's take on the iconic kaiju so scary is Godzilla's ability to rapidly evolve. Over the course of Shin Godzilla, the kaiju mutates into several different forms, each time adapting effectively and terrifyingly to its surroundings. When the creature first makes landfall in Tokyo, it's tadpole-like in appearance and crawls on all fours. And while the kaiju leaves a trail of destruction in its wake, it's still somewhat benign-seeming by Godzilla standards. Soon enough, however, the creature evolves and starts walking upright and before long is more like the Godzilla fans know and love, a gnarly, hulking behemoth that fires atomic rays from its mouth and destroys everything in its path. Towards the end of Shin Godzilla, it's discovered Godzilla's blood acts as a cooling system, so the Japanese government and a bunch of scientists hatch a plan to inject it with a coagulant that will freeze the creature and render it immobile. The plan works and humanity is saved. But the final scene in Shin Godzilla shows the kaiju was in the process of transforming into its fifth and final form. A camera pans up Godzilla's frozen form and reveals several humanoid forms emerging from its tail. Shin Godzilla's fifth form is truly horrifying. Sometimes referred to as Manzillas by the Godzilla fandom, the creatures somewhat resemble aliens' xenomorphs and are pure nightmare fuel. It's implied that as humans, that is, the scientists and Japanese government, banded together to defeat Godzilla, the monster responded by evolving into its own batch of humanoid kaiju. Some Godzilla fan theories even speculated that Goro Maki, the scientist that discovered Godzilla and was presumed dead, had merged with the creature, explaining Shin Godzilla's humanoid fifth form. The potential reasons for Shin Godzilla's fifth form are certainly interesting. But a lot of fans disliked the idea of an army of humanoid Godzillas being the next logical step in the kaiju's evolution. The Godzilla purists out there felt the fifth form creatures were too un-Godzilla like and that any future Shin Godzilla sequel might replace Godzilla with its humanoid housepawn. With Toho stating Shin Godzilla won't be getting a sequel, however, the traditionalists can rest assured they won't be seeing an army of humanoid Godzillas taking over Tokyo anytime soon. That said, Toho are planning an MCU-like shared universe featuring Godzilla and other Toho kaiju, so there's always the possibility Shin Godzilla's controversial fifth form could resurface at some point.